students welcome back to my channel professor ajit's lecture and today i am here to discuss about one of the most important procedure that takes place in histopathology lab that is microtomy so this procedure conducted through microtome which is a very important instrument present in the histopathology lab as we all know there are various types of microtome available in the lab uh, rotary microtome freezy microtome sliding microtome and couple of more types of microtomes but perhaps uh, i'm talking about the rotary microtome which we are going to use over here and the procedure is section cutting section cutting is supposed to be one of the most important uh, part of the histopathology because the more fine section is cut the more good quality of the staining is comes and perhaps it will uh, enhance the quality of microscopy which enables a better diagnosis so perhaps what i think is section cutting cutting is itself is a very important procedure so what exactly section cutting is so is written over here section cutting microtomy or section cutting is the technique of making the very thin slices of tissues specimen for the microscopic examination to identify the abnormalities or atypical appearance in the tissue if present and also for the study of various components of the cells or tissues like lipids enzymes antigen etc so it is a very important procedure because uh, the, uh, the microtome is being used in this procedure and perhaps uh, it needs lot of expertise in it lot of experience is is required for it the more you you are uh, you practice the more you will be doing a better uh, performance while uh, making a sections so the, the the thing is required is that wax wax block which is embedded with with uh, tissues and perhaps it is being fit in the into the slot which is given in the microtome and then then there is a movement up and down movement which enables a very minute section cutting the ideal section cutting should be of uh, uh, you can say 2 to 10 micron but perhaps uh, if you are more expert you can achieve the maximum can uh, you can achieve is 8 micron or 10 micron it is supposed to be the good sections because everything in diagnosis of of tissue which we receive from the operation theater if the doctor suspects the patient is having some kind of malignancies if he is having some something abnormal growth is there the surgeon takes out that part and and fix it and send it to the laboratory we there we here receives it and do the entire proceedings and then after that we do the grossing and then the proceed the further proceeding is done ultimately the tissue is embedded in the paraffin paraffin wax and then made into a block and block is being sliced off with the help of microtome so friends and students these are the things which is very important in in the uh, procedure of section cutting it needs lot of expertise lot of experience is required and it should be done under under supervision of uh, uh, your super your supervisor or maybe your senior if you are new to this to the to the subject if you you are new to this uh, in this lab but it is very interesting this procedure is very interesting and it will give you ample of opportunities in the future so these are the various things which we, which you do in the uh, histo labs for uh, after that it is followed with staining and then ultimately if the staining is of good quality it reaches to the microscope and where the experienced doctor pathologist they make a diagnosis whether if the patient is having a cancer or malignancy whatsoever but perhaps it depends upon the fine slicing of the tissues and that is enabled by your practice by your uh, knowledge and by with your experience so the thing is so i am again repeating the things the so section cutting is one of the most important aspect of the histopathology lab and i i'll be showing you a couple of videos i i'm having uh, a, a video which will be uh, shown after this lecture kindly watch it and see it how the ribbon is being formed while cutting uh, this sections so uh, for 
the mycotome is being rotated round and round and, and a very fine section is being cut out and it, it forms, it, it takes a form of a ribbon. You have to take the ribbon and put it into the warm water and then take it into the slide. So this is the procedure what we have to do in section cutting. The major requirement for this section cutting is a microtome and sharp knife and the block which contains the embedded tissues. These are the major requirements for it, for the microtomy. And it, it is done uh, step by step. Take the block, fix it to the holder, tight it, then move the, 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 the rotatory things which is given at the side of the microtome. And I'll be showing I'll be showing you the, the diagram also in the in this video. Watch it, see it, and then after that I'll be I'll be giving you the video also. Probably it will be helping you a lot. So please, this is the topic which I've chosen you today. And I'll be students, I'll be giving you a random uh, topics which will be there in, in your top in your subject also. It will also help you in your future also. So please do watch it and do observe this, my uh, channel, like it, subscribe it and share it with your friends.